Hey, it's Kate Pangborn here from ankate.org. Welcome to everyone who is here today. And this is something no one's ever seen on my blog before. I have never done a video blog, so everyone bear with me. This video blog is for my creative final for human lifespan development class at Salt Lake Community College for spring of 2013. We are going to be going over an introduction of my life along with pivotal people, places, and things that have happened throughout my life up to this point. I have also wrote a song a few years ago that I'm going to play again. Bear with me because it's really not that good. It's just a recording I've done myself. And for those of you that want the lyrics for that and that can't make it out, if you go up to the top right hand side and hit portfolio, it's called Lonely Hours. I'm going to go through that and I'm going to show you some pictures and I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or anything, just leave them on below. Thanks. This is my husband, Sawyer. We got married in April 23rd of 2011, so next week will be our two-year anniversary. This is one of my engagement photos, and this is at the Salt Lake City Library, a place I've spent a lot of time over the past multiple years. And I have a hymnal that has a lot of old hymns in it, specifically Come Thou Fount. If anyone has the time to look up the lyrics from that song, it just, it's something that's really spoken to me over the years. So, go look it up. Oops, backwards. This is us on our wedding day. We got our pictures done at Gardner Village. And this is my in-laws. Thankfully, I've got a few of them that live here in state. However, most of them live in Washington. And these are my extended family. As you can tell, there's a lot, <laughs> and very few of them actually live here in Utah. My parents specifically and my sister do. Whereas these guys right over on, I'm tilting it, over here, my brother, sister-in-law, and that sweet little girl in the pink dress, Evelyn, live in Moscow, Russia, and Thankfully, they came and hang out with us for about a month, and she is now two, and, oh, backwards. This is her. Isn't she such a cute little ham? Her name is Evelyn, and she is the sweetest thing to ever come into my life. And this is her again. <laughs> and this is our dog, Penny. We adopted her in November of 2011, and she's what kept me not from wanting to have a child so far. <laughs> Seriously, anyone that's getting married, get a dog first. Also, she loves to brush her teeth. <laughs> so, make sure you have good dental hygiene. <laughs> I love my dog. I'm sorry to everyone. I'm sure you'll see the pictures. I'm going to show you some pictures of my family from growing up. And I hope you can see the resemblance because we all gonna look like. This is my brother, me in the middle, and my sister on the this side. See my little dot before I got it removed. It's us. My mother is incredibly creative and made these lovely scrapbooks for all of us as we were growing up and we all got them for our graduation present and I think I'm going to need to make one of these for everyone I know because this is insane. I love it. This is me right here, right after I had my surgery the first and second time. My mom always said I was really enthusiastic and energetic. Is probably to say it lightly, I would always run around the hospital and nothing ever got me down. And I really am hoping that I can take that into the rest of my life and through everything else that happens, I won't let it get me down. So, as I've said in my stories, that my father's in the military and we were growing up and we got to live overseas for a while. So, we lived in Saudi Arabia right before the Gulf War, 
and one more page. So we, thankfully, as children, did not need to wear the Arab wear, but my mother did, so <laughs> they were very soft. My sister and I tended to steal them from her bags and wore them all the time. They're quite the comfort. Camels. We had them in our backyard. It was pretty awesome. After the Gulf War, we were able to meet up with my dad and travel all around the globe. And it was really, really awesome because at the age of five, I had more stamps in my passport than I probably do in my one from being 20 onwards. So it was really an incredible blessing if you ever get the opportunity to take your children anywhere with you when you travel, do it, especially when they're young and it's cheap. <laughs> so this is us in Egypt. There's us outside of pyramids. Look at the little blonde child. That one's me. And it was really funny because when I was really little and we were in Egypt, I was the only one that was small enough to walk through the pyramids. Everyone else had to kind of crawl on hands and knees. That's one of the very few memories I actually have. So that's that. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this song that's playing right now is really raw. It's really emotional. So if you just take time to think about the lyrics and think of where I've been over the past few years, having gone from the crux of being in an eating disorder and really not understanding what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, not thinking I could even do anything that would help anyone, not even wanting to live at some point. God kind of pulled me out of it and he really set me in motion for the rest of my life. He found some pivotal people with my sister and my husband now who never let go. They were always there, and they've given me some amazing opportunities of people to help with. There's an incredible organization called to, Love, to Write Love on Her Arms. And at one point, I went and I got tattoos because it was something that really helped me at that point. I have Beloved, and I have... That's not going to work. Sacred on this arm. And I'm putting a link right under this video for to, like, to write love on her arms. And I really hope you go check it out because they are an organization that I completely support with all of my heart. And I think that anyone that's able to pass that on to someone who's really in need could probably save their life someday. And... I saved mine, and I was able to go, and I'm helping others save theirs, too. So I really hope that this video has done something to kind of explain my life to you. And I hope you have a great day, and have a happy weekend. Bye.